Um, right, I'm here again, talking to a camera again, so please excuse that. But I'm uh, going to show you how to make a model and texture it. Like, because somebody, somebody asked me, like, oh, how do you texture a model? I don't know how to UV it and blah, 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 blah. So, right. Just for like this little tutorial, I'll make like a box, a milkshake. That's a lovely box. Beautiful. Okay. And uh, you just, you can, I have this like little thingy of, um, like I always save the milkshake file. I don't know why. I just do. Right. Call it like a box. But what I use to um to UV it's the cheap way, the easy way, the way you shouldn't do it. I use this little UV mapper thing. Uh I'll post a link to that like in the description or whatever, wherever I post this, there'll be a link to it. So yeah. And then you need to export it as a wavefront object file. Call it box. Right. So then you load your model, which would be box. Okay. And your new UV map box. You can change it, split front and back, whatever. I don't, because it makes less work for me. Right. There's a UV. So you go file, um, save model. Okay. Box like UV. That's important, you need to do that. And you save texture map as well. Box UV, Windows bitmap. And then you need to uh, have something like GIMP or Photoshop or uh, the other one. Paint.net. I don't know, any, anything like that. And you need to really like find um, somewhere that you can get textures from. I use CG textures that are like, you know, good. Level, wood and stuff. It can be used however you want. Okay, what do we want our box to be made out of? Planks. Uh, that'll do. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to open your UV and whatever you use. I use Photoshop. Uh, if you use Photoshop, you might get this weird thing. So you'll have to like uh, change it to oh not that one change it to that one RGB color and that way you can do what you want with it. So otherwise you get this weird thing. It's not it's not cool. It doesn't really work. Okay, so let's say we want our texture to be like that one. Oh no, we don't want that. That's that's tiggy. Okay. So you get your texture and you, you put it in whatever you want. Then you select like whatever you want the thing to be made out of. So let's say I want that. And then you just like kind of like paste it over the UV bit. If that makes sense. For more like complex models though you might need to uh I, I tend to always use box UV in that like option. But it might not work very well, so you might have to like, you know. And you just edit it so it like fits in right. It doesn't look kind of dodgy. I'm just doing this quickly, you should spend a lot more time doing this, yeah. But like, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, and this is my cheating way. And it's really slow because I have all sorts of crap running. Okay, you shouldn't really do this, but okay. And then if you're using like milkshake, you'll have to uh, load the model again because it thinks it's the same model, but it's not because that one didn't have the UV coordinates on it. So you need to, uh, yeah, box UV. There's our lovely box. And you save the texture. Uh, .pds. That's good. And then point box underscore d. Okay, and then uh, in 
and milk shape you need to uh, select it make a new material and then uh, just assign it to the texture there you go you can assign you can like you know edit the textures to whatever you want like I put all sorts of crap on mine like, Lovely box. If I, that that will turn out retarded actually, because I, you know, I didn't split the front and back. Yeah, I'll show you now. If you want to put like writing on it or something like that, you want to split the front and back and texture the bits separately, because otherwise you'll get like backwards text or whatever backwards pictures. Whatever you put on it will be backwards on one side. Cause, like, there you go. Ben's lovely box and then backwards. So if you want to put like text on it, you should uh you should select that. You should have that ticked and you get this. And then you select them all, do it all separate. But yeah. So get rid of that. Don't want that. Oh Christ sake. Because I'm cheap, I have the free version of Frag Motion, which is all you really need. Frag Motion Trial, which for some reason doesn't seem to run out on mine. But this little thing keeps popping up, so. Right, and then you save whatever you. Yeah, get lost. You save that as a um, like box, final, plus whatever you want, but so you know what it is. And then you open it in Frag Motion. There's a lovely box. Right. You should spend a lot more time on the texture there, like that's just like straightforward CG textures. It's not like, you know, brilliant and it's all the same all around, every bit, so make it a bit your more unique, edit a bit, but just for tutorial, yeah. And then you export it as a direct X file. So box underscore final. So and then you need to copy and paste the texture and the .x file to your FPS creator entity bank. Okay. I don't know why that's there, but what are you gonna do? Okay, you paste it wherever you want. Uh just bring that to box. And then you need to copy and paste uh, an FPE file that's already been made. So like there you go, I just copied corn bag. I don't know what's in corn bag, but you know you need to rename your model to box.x. Oh, piss off frag motion. Right. And then box underscore d dot dds. There the uh that's the entity, the actual like mesh. Uh that's the texture. And then you need to change that to whatever you want. Oh, that's what's going to pop up in the entity, in the editor. Okay. And, then you, and then if you want like a little picture, I I have this weird obsession with pictures. I like to have a picture there. You can go into Milkshake and go take a screenshot. Don't ask me why mine's pink, but it's pink. Change mine there because I'm special, so I changed it. I feel like an idiot because I'm talking to a camera. But. And then same name as your um, your FP name your like screenshot the box right and then you find it in there look there it is box there's our box but you can see like how the model is like kind of chopped in half if you don't want that you'll uh, see this like axis here you can move it up and as soon as you put that in the editor it will be on the right thing on the right light kind of height if that makes sense Look. Look, there's a box
for me, yeah. It's our lovely box. Uh, textured, made FPSC ready. Um, you know, that's. But you should. That's a pretty crappy model. It's just a box, isn't it? It's a crappy um, texture. Just copy and pasted. And frog motion is starting to piss me off. I don't know if I can post that now, but it's going. And, um, yeah. There's our there's a box like on perfect axis. Okay. Uh, have fun with this, guys, and this is it in game.